Korea versus the United States. The Americans looking to avenge their loss in the round robin to Team Korea. First half highlights. Kevin, third end. Again, we've seen this a bunch of times already. Wonderful shot by Jong Byun Jin. Yeah, what a, what a nice shot. Yep. Just outside what those is the answer to this one. And get that yellow onto the red. And made it exactly perfect. The red didn't even budge. What a shot. Big three ender to take a big three point lead at that point. But the Americans would bounce back in the fourth on a hack weight shot by Corey Dropkin. Yeah, it's not easy. Corey can only see a half of that rock that he needs to make contact with. Get the late curl. Mark Finner on it. And does bump it far enough for a big three right back to tie the game at four. The fifth, the back and forth battle for positioning after Dropkin's hit and roll on his last. Well, Corey took a bit of a chance. Made the roll and said, okay, this is a tough double. Team Korea there. takes it on, but hits it a little bit too thin. So a big steal of one to get the lead for US 5-4 at the half. Second half highlights, starting with the sixth end. Corey Dropkin electing to play the draw. Around center guards, could have hit the open stone just to give Korea a shot for two. Played that wider straight side, didn't finish enough, and a wonderful yeah. shot by Zhang Byung-jin for the three-point yeah. end. Yeah. Moving on to the seventh. Looked like the Americans had something brewing. Rock placement didn't end up where they'd like. Tried to roll away and instead left a triple. Zhang's first stone did not make a mistake on that one either. And after a nice hack weight hit and roll on his last, Dropkin forced to draw for a single point. Two ends in this game where it looked like the Americans may end up with a possible three besides the one they actually got three in. Not able to capitalize. In the tenth. How much time I got? Dropkin needing to make this pocket double. Get as close as possible to zone rock in the top of the house. Howell and Fenner working hard and just papers on that stone. Not sure if the rock would have stayed anyways, but that would make the final. 9-6 for Team Korea. Exciting affair, back and forth. A lot of rocks in play. Well, the confidence your team must feel after such a strong win. It's an all, always an honor to play such amazing players, and it, oh, beating them always gives us a lot of confidence going to the next game. Well, let's talk about the next game. It's going to be Team Canada and the final thoughts on playing Brad Guju. We still think they may be the better team, or we may be the underdog, but we will do our best and we play with confidence and we'll see what happens. Well, good luck. Thank you very much and congratulations. Great game. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs>